hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to uh, zoom an image okay uh, using jquery so guys there is one plugin in jquery so let's i'll show you that okay so the link will be provided in the description of this video and we are going to do about how to uh, zoom the image of the product gallery okay so we will be doing on that so for example if we click on demo so we are going to next page and let's see the demo how it is coming over here right so this is in a slider view so we don't need in a slider view we will work with the product view thing right so guys for that we will uh, do some coding about it and uh, inspect this jquery and uh, set it according to our requirement okay so guys now let's get started with it so first step we will uh, build a form to display the things okay so this is my fresh page zoom okay so this is my code and let's get started with the bootstrap so let's go to getbootstrap.com and all the documentation at first step i will copy the starter template for setting up the things okay so let's paste it over here okay done so these are the basic things and uh, while working with ajax we don't need this jquery slim so we need a uh, latest one so we can type jquery cdn link and take the code jquery.com from there we can copy the link and paste in our fi file so minified and copy this copy and paste it below this and remove the your slim min.js okay so let's arrange this and i don't require all this so i'll just remove it that's it save the file and let's echo this hello world first so guys let's okay hello world it's coming perfect so guys now our bootstrap is started now so if you know bootstrap you can follow it with me so let's start this so we have to start with the first section we'll create one simple section and then container give a class container then the row class row and then finally one column we will go with the column called 4 column md4 done here we will show the image okay so that image i have one image inserted dolled orange.jpg so this is my image right now i will show you guys so this is the image let me close this back and let's call the image called orange.jpg and we will give a width 100 percent for responsiveness and let's put this column md8 so we will proceed with that like mm, do a card body in this card body over here h4 tag orange will give a name called fresh orange paragraph to display the which this is a fresh orange okay then again simple you can use 5 rupees 200 that's it we will see the output for this now let's get back control r so you can see in this format right so i just don't want to see in this format i'll just make it some little changes over here so guys uh, before the row we will start one column called md12 
and inside that tool I will design a card so inside that card I am going to design one more row now inside that row I will paste this things inside here that's it so no confusion it's very clear so let me close this column 4 8 row and then over here you can give margin top 4 from top it will come down ok so let us reload the page see here guys so this is the view now right so I just want to show you a demo for this so guys let's uh, do with the image part that is the product gallery with zoom image ok so you can just write one heading also over here after row I will use one more column 12 card inside that card header h4 product view or you can tell gallery zoom image in jquery ok so you can save this as in top 5 so reload see here guys ok so now this is the image now over here so for this we will uh, do this kind of zooming for this right now ok so guys uh, let's download this file and uh, see what's going on so let's click on download and the file is getting downloaded and it is downloaded successfully ok so let's go to our downloads folder I can find it over here let me extract this extract it here so it's extracted now guys let us open this file ok so inside this I am going to open this file ok open it it's looking little time so let us just be on this page and get back for this I will just wait for to get open ok it's open now this is our product gallery which we have downloaded and this is some html view in it so let's not get confused anything about this so just ignore all the things we have to copy the main and the script ok two things are there so let's copy and paste it into our folder so let's go to css folder now let's go inside the css and then copy this control c and get back to your zoom folder over there i am going to create one folder called css and paste inside that done and one more folder i will create called js and paste the code so let's go to our product gallery zoom go to scripts copy this both copy and get back to your folder zoom and paste it done so you can find this into your editor also right now see here guys js and css so now let's include this over here ok so let us include first step in include css ok so inside my css folder forward slash main dot css ok copy this ok so this main dot css is there so guys some some files come automatically with other name also so you can rename this like zoom main dot css ok so let's copy this and rename this file so let's give a right click and rename let's control dot css ok save this done that's it so saved 
and now let's link this both js also so get down and paste it into script src so js folder you can go with the main as zoom main so guys, let's tell it as zoom hyphen main dot js so let's rename that and paste it over here same thing copy and paste and call for zoom image dot js okay so type image image dot js done that's it so guys now let us see the output but uh, we didn't set anything so guys now let us set for this so this is my image right now so let me go back to the downloaded file so guys we have copied the css and js file and we are on the index.html file so guys you can just see over here that this is the view okay so product exam with gallery so that is over here mm, yes so this is the product gallery with zoom example that we are getting to see over here and below that we are facing some image over here in href tag and image tag so these two divs are very important so guys let us copy this and leave these things okay so because we are not doing according to this slider parts but we are doing with the normal showing part okay so let us copy this copy and get back and paste it over here right so let's paste this let me close this one and yes guys so this i have pasted it so now instead of their link i'm going to copy my image and paste it over here so both the place i'm going to paste it and uh, let's remove this okay let me take out this and add it into our that image tag and remove this tag that's it so now let's load this and see what happens now let's get back control r and the image size got changed because that has some css with this show image and show tag okay so we will check with it and we'll make it responsive so let's reload the page and there's nothing working over here right now so guys let us check why it's not working with it so first step okay so let's see it and uh, yes so first is zoom image zoom then main so let me see over here zoom image main okay let's paste uh, replace it okay so first will be the image and main and then let's check the output for it so control r let me give control r and let's see here yeah, guys so guys it's coming fine but it's not responsive see it's going something above and less also right for this so guys i just wanted to show you the responsiveness also over here let us check with it so right now we have given width 100 percent okay but we are not getting some responsiveness so let's inspect that and check what is the issue over here so let's inspect and click on elements and first step we will check with the our image part so let me click on the image and you can see here some height and width over here right so for this we have to set it over here like first we'll click on show and we are getting some on this link we are getting this width and height with the 100 400 pixel so let's go on this zoom main.css so let me get to that file zoom main.css we can see in the starting only two lines that is set with the default pixels so we just don't want to set with the default pixel because we are not working with that we are already working with bootstrap things so let us rename this okay 100% and this both also 100 percent done so let's save this and you can see the correct responsiveness so guys this this image is responsive now 
now let's check with the zoom on also okay so with the zoom on i will show you before that see here it's coming below somewhere okay it should be inside the card only right so for that let us inspect and check the element what is the issue over here so let us get back and let's scroll this okay so now let us click on this and hover so while hovering we are getting some image over here also so the we have to check with this so this image is coming from this zooming part okay these values will be changing while zooming it okay see here so the values are changing now but in this case this is static so let us click on this div tag and see what is happening over here okay it's left to something else point point and i think this is coming from the main js file so we have to edit it over there and yes guys we have to finish that over there only and it is z index also is less okay it's behind it showing fresh orange juice on the zooming part here this one is also showing over here so we have to check with this so let's go to our js file zoom main.js not main dot will go on image dot js okay so over here we are going to say over here that is zoom panel as 500 pixel which is they have set here height and width 500 500 so that we will make it to 100 percent so we don't want to edit this one we will just edit directly to the div tag which they are adding it so where is my div tag for this show panel okay it is over here so if you want to conf confirm these things you can see check it out how many attributes are used in this line so in that way i have confirmed it so guys now this is my height and width i just don't want to mess with these things uh, going wrong so let me comment that and let's type that width colon double quotes comma give and give 100 percent and let's type the height also colon where double quotes i'm going to give comma and tell 100 percent now the image will be set perfectly i hope okay let's check out let's reload hit enter and here guys let me close this we can see below things are coming fine yes guys cool boom so we have successfully set with the responsiveness but i don't want to show this orange behind the image okay before after the image i just want to hide that thing so for that let's increase the z index over here so you can directly do the double quotes because we are putting this double quotes it will not accept hyphen directly in jquery okay so we have to initialize them into double quotes and then we can give Mm, let us give triple one and see it loads perfectly on it yeah guys cool so guys we have done with the how to set uh, zoom in responsive okay so guys we can if you want you can design this with some color and uh, things like i'll just show you one, one demo where is my index file here guys and uh, yes in this card body i will just paste bg warning okay let's set it over here and here it comes so instead of here i'll just paste into the class itself i mean column itself that will be more nice okay so this is a zoom image and then we will set with this right so this is how we are zooming it so guys um thank you for watching this video we have completed that how to product view or gallery view that is zooming and making it to responsive in jquery with the help of this um whoever this producer is about this thanks for this guys and uh, yes guys please subscribe like and share